two men with a job to do. Not an earth-shaking mission, perhaps, but one of urgent concern to this tiny Middle Eastern country. It's a mythical state. It doesn't actually exist. But it might be any one of dozens of little states scattered over the world who have treaties with Britain, who, when they are in trouble, look to the British Army for help and seldom find it wanting. the trouble, gentlemen, but this time they're in force. The whole Anticot area is full of them. They're attacking camel trains, destroying crops, and killing my people. We need your help badly. We've already ordered a mobile force to stand by. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Harris, and you, Colonel, for acting so promptly, because our need is desperate. Your message received. I'm handing you over to Sunray for control. Wildcat 113, Sunray here. Take a good look at Karandi Fort as you go by. Take a look. Rather than the us, sir. What a perishing place. Makes you sweat just to watch them, doesn't it, sir? Yes. That was one blessing. This time we're going to have trucks. Remember that time we had to walk up the pass, sir? Captain Phillips calling you. What's up, Sarge? I don't know, but it sounds like work. Wilco, we'll get moving at once. Out. Son Milton? Sir. Get him aboard. Right, sir. Who's bought the sticky end, sir? Oh, hey, mate, in the tracks! No! Hello, Chris. Welcome aboard, Jim. Glad you could come along. Always ready to oblige. May need those guns of yours later.
I don't like this one little bit. It's too damn quiet. We better belt through as fast as we can. Good evening, sir. Where's Mr. Richardson? He's up on the top, sir. Should I take you? No, don't bother. I'll find him. Everything all right, chaps? Okay, sir. No, 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 no. It's going to be a bit dicey up there, ain't it, Sarge? Dicey? Look, son, that's what we came here for. Well, there's still a lot of them left, Chris. And they've moved into a real cracker of a position. They're up there. They've got strong points in the fort and on the ridge. Now, we're going to soften them up with rockets, artillery, and mortars. I'm putting numbers two and three platoons in a frontal attack under cover of smoke soon after first light. Now, this is where you come in. These, these chaps have a way of pulling out when things get tough. So, I want you there, ready to move into that fort as soon as the guns lift. It's the best way of trapping them, even though <laughs> it is a long climb around the mountains. You can just see a ravine in this light about half a mile up. You see it? Yes, sir. And that leads round behind the fort. If you can climb up there without being spotted, you might just pull it off. Well, how do you feel about it? Think you can make it? We'll have a damn good go, sir. All quiet, Nichols. All quiet, sir. 
Well, keep on your toes. Oh, by the way, any news of that young brother of yours? Yes, sir. I heard yesterday that he passed his 11 plus. Right, family. You wake, Jim? You bet I'm awake. Well, you shouldn't be. You can't climb mountains without sleep. Now, don't you start lecturing me again. Anybody would think we were back at dear old Sandhurst. Funny you should mention that. All the time Bill Rogers was talking, it reminded me of the tactics lectures we used to have there. Those tactics lectures really were great fun. Though it wasn't until afterwards that it really hit us. What we learned then from our instructors could save lives later, both ours and our men's. We worked hard to get the answers right against an imaginary enemy, but we knew the battle would be real one day and we would need all the experience and tradition of Sandhurst behind us. Some of the things we learned seemed a bit theoretical at the time, but the instructors were very patient about explaining them to us. The theory has proved just as useful as the practice, and we got plenty of practice. Square bashing too, of course, but any soldier with battle experience will tell you. The discipline, the ability to act together like a well-oiled machine, stands you in good stead when the bullets start flying and you depend on each other for your lives. That's what it boiled down to all the time at Sandhurst. Piling up knowledge and experience for the future. We've been drawing on that ever since, wherever we've been, and in whatever tasks we've been given. Mr. Richardson. Mr. Richardson. Oh, it's you, Sergeant. Good morning. Well, I must have been dreaming. Morning, sir. Zero four thirty, sir. Be a cup of tea up in a few minutes. Bye. Thanks. Uh, just the job. Son Milton! Sir, let's go. Right, sir. Move now! Brandy Fort, there. There's your main pass leading up to it. And that's the place where I'm plastered with rockets. Okay, Mike, yep, you know it, sir. Yes, sir, I've got it. <laughs> They won't get spotted. Just hoping. They've got good cover on that side, and they seem to be moving carefully enough. Yeah. Best strike in ten minutes, sir. <laughs> 